Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Wow, has it been a minute since I have recorded one of these. Uh, today, um, it's been around eight months since I have posted the last Is It Profitable. Probably close to a year since I've last recorded an Is It Profitable. But today, I am going through, um, the, or at least over the next few episodes, I'm going through the rest of my Pokemon stash that I have, and I will be wrapping up Is It Profitable Season 1. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what Season 2 is going to be, or if there's going to be a Season 2 in the near future, but I do want to do something kind of similar to this eventually, but I don't know what it's going to look like or anything, so I'm just going to call these first few episodes, these first few, uh, not even few, it's been like, what, I think I have it to where by the end of this there's going to be like 50 episodes or that, but I will talk a lot more about next, what's going to next, after the 50, or once the 50 episode airs, but right now we're all on episode 45, that means we got a few episodes to go, and today I got this Darkrai tin, it is the... Is there a name on here? Miss Mighty Mysterious Tin. Right. There's where it says that. Apparently. And you can either get one of three foil cards. I got Darkrai. Um, three booster packs and a trading card. I believe this was either purchased at a Dollar Tree or... A CVS I don't know again it has been about it has been eight months since one of these have been uploaded I usually bulk record a lot of this stuff so <laughs> who knows when this was like when this was actually purchased but yeah I mean let's get into it see if we get any good things um and we'll just do you know normal as a profitable episode if you have not seen how this series works I'm glad you're here go watch some of the other ones but basically I go through I open everything and then we look at all of the um the more rares uncommons reverse hollows things like that and uh we see if it would be profitable if I were to sell everything but does that mean I'm going to sell everything I do have a whatnot shop I believe right now it is out of commission I want to eventually bring that back up um but for now or even like start up an eBay, I think that'd be super fun to do. Um, and then maybe do like monthly reports and things like that. But for now, I'm just gonna be hanging out with this. We got Dark Cry here, opening up the tin, looking nice. Got the Dark Cry. He will be going up here in the very important Pokemon section, right there, looking fancy. Uh, so it is winter and. That means my house is cold because I cannot run the air conditioner while I'm recording these. So if I look a little cold in the hands, that's why. Um, here is the code card. I give away all the code cards in these. So watch all the videos and see if there's one that has not been redeemed yet. But, ooh, okay. All of these packs are going to be slightly older. Uh, like, they're going to be mostly sword and shield packs. Because Scarlet and Violet was not out yet in pack form when I was filling these. The game is out, but just not, ah, not the, there we go, not the packs. So, there we go, set that to the side. So, we have Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, and Evolving Skies. Um, do I remember the order of these? No, I think it's like this. Um, I usually try to go earliest pack to latest pack, but we'll see if I'm even right at all, because I'm not, probably not. Anyway, let's get into the shall we? I think we shall. Because of how old these packs are, which, I mean, they're only like a year old, um, it's going to probably change a lot of the things of it. Um, here is the code card, looking nice and fancy for you. Love that. Love that. Okay, I think it is... How, do, how does this work again? Oh gosh. One, two, three, four. 
Or is it one? Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not being stupid. Okay, okay. I did it. <laughs> okay, energy. We got. It helps if it's in the frame. Gosh, it's been so long since I've done this. We got Gordy. Snow leaf badge. Avalug. Bergmite. Petalil. Crinogo. That's totally you pronounce that guy's name. Uh, Zorla. Swabul. Reverse Hollow. Rufflet and Tallowflame. Not the best card we could get out of that, but I mean, not gonna complain. I don't know if we had that card already, but I mean, we're vibing either way, right? Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, next we got the Fusion Strike. Here is that for you guys. If it ever decides to focus. There we go. Looking nice, looking nice, looking nice. And now that I remember how to do it, one, two, three, four from the top. Look at that. I'm so good at my job. Don't even ever question me. We got an Eldegoss. Shana! Cramomedic. Chiansi. Vulpix. Quillfish. Galarian. Corsola. Baltoy. Suffle. Oh, that was reverse hollow. I didn't even notice that was reverse hollow. And a toxic croak. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Okay, okay, okay. We'll set those two there. And we got one more, which is a brilliant stars. I don't remember if we opened up a ton of brilliant stars in the channel before the hiatus. But I mean, either way, we'll get some more here. Right, right, right. Okay, here. Ah! It's not coming out of the pack. There we go. Okay, so there is that code card. That code card looks really weird. I don't know why. Okay. So then you got one, two, three, four to there. Ooh, an energy. Love her, love her, love her. We got a blunder policy. Corktol. How do you say that? Double turbo energy. Nose pass. Millicree. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Cup chew. Dedeny. Farfetched. Ooh, a full R E V. Okay. And a Shaman V card. Okay, that was definitely a good pack right there, I think. Okay. So, if you guys don't know how this works, basically, now I'm gonna go and tally all the cards that you're seeing on your screen up from, uh, it's like average going price on eBay at the time of filming this, and we will see if this is profitable. As of January 10th, 2024, the cards laid out in front of you are roughly just shy of $12, which isn't terrible. Um, I'm not sure how much this thing costs. My guess is it couldn't be more than $15. So, if I were to sell some of the common cards, I could probably get my money back, maybe make profit. But otherwise, it wasn't that great of a box. Um, the best one we got was this little Eevee guy right here. That one right there. Um, and he is worth a little bit over $4, so that was great. Everyone else was worth, uh, like, in between a dollar and two dollars. But I mean, we didn't get with three packs. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to that like down below. Your to do is YouTube, and I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.